Right, let's take a look at example two. It says that the ratio of the measures of the sides of a triangle are five to seven to eight. Right there, that is a ratio. And it says that the perimeter of a triangle is 240 feet. And they want us to find the measures of all the sides of a triangle. And when I read long things like that without pictures, I have a hard time really understanding what they're saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to create a picture so that we can um, try to visualize what I just read. So since I heard the word triangle a while, uh, a few times, I'm going to draw a triangle. And it says that the ratio of the measures of the sides of the triangle are 5 to 7 to 8. Okay. So I'm going to put a 5 and a 7 and an 8 there. And it also says that the perimeter of the triangle is 240 feet. Now, a perimeter is when you add up all of the sides of a triangle. And so what they're telling us is if, they take, if we take this side, this side, and this side, and add those three things up, it will be 240. Uh, so I'm going to say that if we take the one side plus another one of the sides, plus another one of the sides, we add them up, they're telling us that it should add up to 240 feet. Now, I could put a 5 and a 7 and an 8 right here, and I'm going to. because those are on the sides of the triangle. But when I do that, something kind of uh, kind of strikes me. And that's that 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. And that's not even close to 240. So something's going on there. And the thing that we need to keep in mind is that when it said that the ratio of the sides was 5 to 7 to 8, it didn't mean that the side was 5 long, 7 long, and 8 long. It meant that these sides were proportional, uh, where there would be like, which means there's basically some number that we could times uh, the 5, the 7, the 8 by. And if we took that number and times it by each one of these, it would kind of blow it up and make that number larger. And then we would know how long this is, and this is, and this is. So they go together in that ratio. And we don't know what that number is that we're supposed to like times it by. When I don't know what a number is, I call it x. So I'm going to put that there, there, and there, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's try to figure out uh, what that number is. So let's solve this now. 5x and 7x makes 12x, plus another 8x is 20x. So 20x equals 240. Let's divide each side by 20 x equals, that would be 12, wouldn't it? So x equals 12. So if we take 12 and times it by 5, that will tell us how long this side is. I'm going to do that right now. 5 times 12 is uh, 60. So this side right here is 60, uh, what are our units? Feet. So it's 60 feet long. If I take the 8 and times it by 12, what would that be? 96. So this side right here is 96 feet. That's the biggest one. And this one here, 7 times 12, would be 84. 84 feet. So the question was for us to find the measures of all the sides of the triangle. And we just did that. It's 60 feet. 84 feet. And 96 feet. That's how long each side is. And we were able to combine what we know about ratios, and we were able to combine what we know about perimeters to get it. So there should be one or two of those in your homework, and I think it would be a good idea to uh, head over that way and give a couple a try. Good luck.